Situated near the northeastern side of Cebu is a third class city called Canal, specifically located in the Metro Cebu area and is approximately 33 kilometers from Cebu City. It is bordered on the north by Carmen, on the west by Astorias, on the south by Compostela, and to the east by the Camote Sea. A city with an area of 107.30 square kilometers, with 42 barangays, and a population of about 156,176 people called the Danawanans. In 1521, Magellan, along with the Spaniard underlings, brought Cebu into the map. But it was only in 1565, 44 years later after Magellan, that the Spaniards headed by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi successfully conquered Cebu by penetrating the island and converting people to Christianity. The Spaniards were determined to establish settlements in the whole island of Cebu. The now, once the center of kingdom of Nahalan, was no exception. The now was done to become one of the most important places of missionary activities in Cebu when the Recollex, now OAR, arrived in the Philippines in 1609. The Recollex helped establish the now as a parish in 1671 but not as an organized town with its civilian government and in 1671 to 1898, Spanish Recollect friars served as parish priests in Danao. The Santo Tomas de Villanueva Church was constructed in Danao in 1755. Saint Thomas de Villanueva, the patron saint of the city. The second parish in Danao was created in 1961 in Lawaan. Most Reverend Holy Rosales, the then Archbishop of Cebu, declared May 1 as the feast day of St. Joseph, the worker parish. Other Christian denominations were beginning to attract followers of their faith at this period. The main livelihood of people living in the now is fishing. Some locals engage in commercial activities such as pottery making, weaving fishing nets, and cheese making. In the early 90s, pottery began to mark as a main industry in Danao. They sell their products throughout Cebu like Bugo, Mandawe, Opon, and Cebu City. Gun industry later on became popular to all Danawanans which then, same as pottery, become the main source of livelihood. But it was considered as illegal, and then later on was outlawed by the government. In the 1960s, tricycles and tricycads began filing up the streets when road infrastructure was completed in the now. This kind of transportation still prevails in the city streets even until today. The now became an industrial city in the northern part of Cebu during mid-1960s to mid-1970s, when the Durano Industrial Complex was in full operation with its universal cement company that produced 20,000 bags of cement per day and Durano Sugar Mill with 2,000 ton daily capacity. Sari Sari stores also became a common business for those who wanted to start from scratch. Time changes and the now changed considerably. From a simple fishing village and farming settlement during pre-Spanish period to one of the most progressive municipalities in the whole island of Cebu during the Spanish period and with a giant leap of development in the 1960s. The now then evolved as a premier city in the northern part of Cebu, with its people willing to evolve in modern society, hoping to uplift themselves socially, economically, morally, and spiritually. The first elected municipal president, mayor of today, in the now was Alejandro B. Duracho, a prominent families in the now. 
it was the American authorities in the Philippines in 1907 who announced that elections for provinces and municipalities will be held in 1908. The most powerful pre-war political leader, a wealthy landowner and the leading Osmanianistas of the now, was Paulo G. Almendras. He served Danawanans as municipal president for almost 14 years. It was then in 1949 that Ramon Durano Jr., also known as Manong Amon, elected as congressman representing the 1st District of Cebu and he was considered as the most powerful post-war political leader. In 1961, the now became a modern city in the northern part of Cebu. Through the effort of Beatrice D. Durano, wife of Manong Amon, also known as Manang Ati, when she was elected as mayor in 1956, she made a lot of development throughout the now. She served as mayor for more than 15 years. She is the first and only woman mayor so far in the now. While her husband was known as father of the now city, he is also considered as the longest to serve congressman in Cebu, a total of 23 years in service. A year after the now became a chartered city in 1962, the vision of the now was created started its operation of overseeing the educational institutions of the city. The division office occupied the upper part of the now city central school building in front of the old city hall. Karansa Festival in the now city, a popular merry-making celebration among the inhabitants of the now. It was established during the administration of then-Mayor Ramon Boy D. Durano Jr., inspired by Sinulog in Cebu, which started in January 1980. Moro Moro, before Carranza, was the most popular attraction in the now. The festivity includes various dancing performances, eating, and drinking in celebration to the area's pottery-making livelihood. It is celebrated annually on the third Sunday of September and in honor to St. Thomas de Villanueva, the city's patron saint. Caranza is an original word from the now which means expressing joy and happiness among potters who have completed their day's work. The pot makers usually dance, sing, eat, and drink coconut wine after a day's pottery making work. They use four basic dance steps, swaying, kiai, shaking, karag and kurug, and juddering, karahai which nowadays are being performed by well-choreographed teams from elementary and high schools in the area during the day of the fiesta.